Let's try to discuss continuity of a piecewise function. Okay, here is a problem before us. It says, for what value of a is the given function f of x continuous? Okay, so basically what we see here is that this function has got two pieces and it divides the whole domain into two regions, minus infinity to 1 and then from 1 to infinity, correct? Individually, if I see each function, this is a linear function, ax minus 1. So linear function in this interval throughout minus infinity to 1, including 1, is continuous. So there is continuity on left side of 1. On the right side of 1, we have a parabola, right? 3x squared plus 1, right? Both are polynomials and both are individually continuous functions. So the only place where this could be discontinuous is at 1, right? So the function, so what we have to do about this is to check, con to make it continuous, we have to check their value at 1, right? So we say if, if f of x is continuous, at x equals to 1, right, then f of x is continuous in its domain, correct? Entire domain, is it okay? So that's very important to understand that only there is one point where it could be discontinuous, right? Now how can f of x be continuous at x equals to 1? That means if we write x as 1 in the first part of the equation, then that value should be equal to the value from where the second part starts. Right? It doesn't include, there's a hole here, but this hole should be filled in by that value. If this hole is filled in by that value, then the function becomes continuous, correct? So the whole idea is to write on x equals to 1 and then solve for a, correct? Because a is the only variable which could change and make it continuous or discontinuous. So let's, so basically we have to put x equals to 1 and then figure out what happens. And at x equals to 1, what do we need? We need both to be same. So at x equals to 1, we have a times 1 minus 1 should be equal to 3 times 1 square plus 1, right? Both should be equal. This may be whole and this is going to fill that hole because that equal to sine is with linear function, right? So from here, we get a minus 1, so a 1 times is 1. So we can take 1 that side, correct? So, so we get a equals to 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1. And then this one also comes here, right? And we get a equals to 5. So basically, what we are trying to say is, if a is 5, right? Then the function should be continuous, right? Let us check the value of f of 5. So f of 5 is equal to actually from the very first one because that's equal to, right? So 5, if I put, uh, I should say f of 1, sorry. f of 1 when for a equals to 5. For a equals to 5. Is that okay? So if a is 5, then our function is 5 times 1 minus 1, right? 5 times 1 is 5 and minus 1 is 4, right? So f of 1 for a equals to 5 is equals to 5 times 1 minus 1, which is 4. Is it okay? Now if I plug it in the second part, right, which is a whole, I know that. So the whole in part 2, right, if I put 1 here, then what do I get? 3 times 1 plus 1, which is also 4, right? So both are correct. So this basically means that, let's say, we have a hole here, right? That, let's say we have a hole here, right? This equation gives us a hole, and that equation fills that hole up. Do you see that? Therefore, the function becomes continuous. Do you, and this happens only for one value, that where f, where a is 1, correct? Therefore, the answer is that for a equals to 1, so we have answer here, a equals to 1 for the for fx to be continuous, for fx continuous. Is that okay? So that's how we solve such a problem. 
I hope you understand. We'll take another one which is kind of complicated. Complicated in a way, here the algebra part was very easy, right? <laughs> so it was very easy to do. We'll take another one where the algebra part is really difficult. Okay, I hope you understand this so that you're ready for the next piecewise function example. Thank you.